Hey everyone, it's Anthony Allen Ramos. All right, the drama on The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City is real, it's intense, and we love to see it, but we also got to see a very sweet moment with Meredith Marks and her family at the GLAAD Awards. Listen, she was on the host committee and it's so amazing to have her support year round. Um, and I'm so excited to be chatting with Meredith right now about that and more. How are you, my friend? I am great. I'm so happy to be chatting with you. And uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, listen, it was so good to see, uh, you know, you talk about the GLAAD Awards and, and then take, of course, Seth and Brooks there. Uh, it was such a special moment. Um, well, what did it mean to you? Let's go back to that. That, you know, that was our big event earlier this year in Los Angeles. What did it mean to you to get to be there again, but also this time to be a part of the host committee? And then obviously you supported, made a generous donation as you always do. Well, thank you. Um, and yes, I, I, I mean, I love supporting GLAAD. You know, I think obviously I'm a supporter of the community, but GLAAD itself is a great organization. And of course you're a part of it, which makes it even better. The GLAAD Awards is just to me a very special night. You know, it's really like a night to celebrate everyone who has, you know, contributed to the entertainment world and and um, help, which as we all know, helps shape the way society views everything. And so, um, you know, perception is everything. And um, if we can get people to have a better lo level of understanding, there's more acceptance and so on and so forth as as we know. Yeah. And what I love is, you know, you and I met uh, years ago and, you know, Brooks was younger. He was still figuring himself out. And so this season, I love that scene with you and him in the car when you were on your way to the snow and just, you know, having really open conversations with each other. How proud are you of Brooks? And, you know, the, he's still a young man, but he's, you know, really coming into himself, very confident, navigating dating life, as we all know, is tricky. Um, but how proud are you of, of all the things that he's got going on? I, I'm beyond proud as, as a mother, as a, you know, entrepreneur, as everything, just seeing the way he has grown and um, matured and, you know, is finding his space that he sits in and um I, I couldn't be more proud you know he's he's doing great emotionally he's doing great business wise he's working hard and i he's amazing he's amazing he makes me happy i was so happy you got to be there with you and seth at the glad awards what was his kind of take on that because i think you know again you know we've known each other for a while but i think you know it's great that he can be in a room like that when he's a little more sure of who he is, you know, on his journey, which is, you know, which is so important. Yeah, I mean, I think it was special. Well, I'm sitting right here, you can ask. Oh, me. Brooks, <laughs> many big guest appearance. How are you, my friend? Hi, how are you? Yeah, I, it's so funny. You're like, wait a second, don't talk about me. I'm right here, join the combo. <laughs> you want to you want to join in? I'll slide over. Yeah, we can we can have a, a guest if if you want. Um, Surprise I, guest appearance. <laughs> I guess appearance. I loved. I was telling you, I loved that kind of scene with the two of you talking on the way to the snow when you had your your goggles on and sunglasses, of course. But I mean, I love that you know you're in such a a good space. You know how cool is it to have a mom like Meredith that you can talk about anything with, especially you know dating, which is not easy these days. It's honestly so great. I feel like a lot of people in my position, at least like friends that I've talked to, um, it's not as casual as it is with my mom. Like the conversations we have, I feel like would be so much longer and so much more like focused on sexuality, whatever. But it's it's not like that. Like my mom doesn't treat me any differently than my other two siblings who are like, you know, as far on the binary leaning towards heterosexual as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What'd you, what was your take on the GLAAD Awards? You know, your mom did a lot of work with us to make sure it was a super successful night and do all the things. And I, I loved having the three of you there with me to really, you know, take in our special night. I think the GLAAD Awards is like, honestly, the best event that I've probably ever been to. No offense to any other events. That I've been to, but well, especially since I've hosted quite a few events, so yes. take I, it. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Yeah, it's I just like, the energy is insane. It's such an amazing, like, interesting group of people that go, and like, you do the best job putting it all together. It's like truly 
if everyone could experience that night at some point in their life, like, gotta do it. Gotta get a table, bring your friends. And it's like the best night ever. Yeah, well, I just felt like it was such a celebration, mm -hmm. you know? And especially like this year, I don't know, you, you nailed it. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, well, Brooks, great to see you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, I'm sure you're busy and have things to design. I still want those those new pants of yours. I have to get some. <laughs> I got you the plug. I love it. Um, Meredith, so, you know, this season has been a lot. I mean, it's so intense, so many things happening. How are you, you know, navigating it all? How's your head? Are you, you know, we're like midway through the season. We just saw that mid mid season trailer, which looks intense. And BravoCon, November third, fourth, and fifth in Vegas, everyone is upon us. So, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for BravoCon. You know, um, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, last year was, so let's yeah. just hope for more fun there. Um, and, you know, the rest of the season, I, I'm curious to see how a lot unfolds. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And I think especially this year, there was a lot that went on behind my back um, that I kind of just put the pieces together, maybe at the tail end. And I think I'm still missing some pieces. So uh, it will be interesting to see. I mean, you know, in terms of digesting it all, look, I, I've listened to, you know, the lies spewed about me my whole life. Like, forget housewives. Like, that's reality. Let's be honest. People love to gossip. They love to talk. And, um, you know, make it up. I don't care. I know who I am, you know? It's, yeah. it's fine. It, it, it's not pleasant, but I just don't care that much. I think it's important that, you know, we get it out there because it was brought up a little bit on this most recent episode, but like when the rumor about Angie's husband was brought forward, you were in no way saying that that was a negative thing about it being potentially with another man. You, it was just like, you know, it's it, it was, I think there was misconstrued things there because you would never even care about that. I think it's obviously an affair in general would be, you know, the, the, the thing that would be not, you know, great for someone. Well, that's correct. I mean, in, 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 when I was outside the restaurant with Lisa, I was not even talking about that rumor. I was talking about something that was entirely different. Thank you for clearing that up because I think it's important. And I think also you bring up Palm Springs, one of the most LGBTQ friendly places in the world. We love it. But how, I mean, listen, that's the, you have you have so many memes now. Andy Cohen is playing your snippets, your highlights of, of that dinner. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm not leaving What's it like to know that you've got another iconic line or two that's gonna be up there with I'm disengaging and so many more? Well, I, I think it's very much on point for, for my character. Disen I'm disengaging, you can leave. Yes. <laughs> uh, it all kind of vibes together. Um, you know, the one thing I thought was really cute last night that I saw that was that Chad, the waiter slash security guard, tagged me on Instagram. He wants justice for not being invited to BravoCon. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, he's been posting. It's been pretty funny. Maybe actually. we can find a way to have him get in there somehow. I mean, it is the BravoCon is a hot ticket. I mean, speaking of that, listen, I think Vegas, you know, we know these Bravo celebrities, a lot of them, you know, in all the different shows, love a good party. I mean, this is like a 24 hour party for three days in a row. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. I mean, it's pretty crazy. You know, I, I, I commented back to Chad that maybe we could somehow find a way to get him in as my security. So there we anyone go. at MDC who's listening, we, we could do that <laughs> with Chad. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, and you always are doing such amazing things. Uh, can we talk about this caviar? I mean, it's so amazing that you've got this happening now. I mean, talk about luxury and it's, and I know you're already thinking about ways of using this to give back to the community and GLAD, which is great, but how cool is it that you literally have a Meredith Marks caviar line now? For, you know, I like to, I think most people like and maybe don't always have the ability to do so, but like to work in areas that I'm very passionate about. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, I am able to do that. And so caviar is like just it's 
it's up there with diamonds to me, you know, like that's part of the reason I went into jewelry is I love it. You know, it's fun. I enjoy creating it. I have a great time with it. Well, same thing with caviar. So I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. You know, I, I, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go with it next um, and what I want to do, but diamonds and caviar are not a bad pair. Let's just call it as it is. That sounds delicious and amazing and luxurious. All the things that, you know, that we love. Um, but Meredith, uh, thank you so much again for the support at the Glad Media Awards earlier this year. You know, I'm sure you and I can collab again on the next one. Uh, we've got a lot of ideas and, uh, you know, thank you for everything. And also, you know- Yeah, we have some other stuff to talk about that's a lot sooner, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's right, we sure do. You and I are always coming up with something amazing, which mm -hmm. I so appreciate. Um, and of course, you can find out more of Meredith's uh, caviar line on her website, on her Instagram, it's there. And then of course, We'll see you at BravoCon in Vegas. And just a reminder, everyone, you can catch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Tuesday nights at 9 on Bravo TV.